you want the next step with Google Plus. Here at the Internet Marketing Specialist designation, we want to show you how to take advantage of all the features Google Plus has. In this video, we'll talk about your stream and sparks and how you can use them for real estate marketing. Let's have a look at your stream. To do that, click on the image that's sort of like a house. It would be the home button for Google Plus. This will take you to your stream. And what you can see here are postings by everybody that are in your circles. Only the people that you have in your circles will show up on your original stream. So select carefully who you put in your circles. If you see a posting that you do not want to see anymore, just click the little arrow on the right side of that posting, select mute this post, and that posting will vanish. You will still hear from that person when they make other postings. This will just block a specific posting. Postings will show up in the order of most recently commented upon. So as other people comment on other postings, they will move back to the top of your stream so you can re-engage in conversations. If we look on the left side of our screen, we see how we can control our stream. This is where real estate marketing will really come in by allowing you the opportunity to fine tune who you want to see postings from. If you click on incoming, this will be everybody who's out there posting. You'll see things showing up, hangouts that are going on, videos from other people. You can mute postings again, and you can add these people to one of your circles if you wish. You'll see multiple things going on from multiple people, some who you won't even know. If you want to see notifications that you've received, click on the no notification tab. Here's where you're really going to take advantage of the stream. As you create circles, as we talked about in our other video, make sure you're breaking them down to be very specific. And now, if I take a moment and click on my buyers, I can see what my buyers are up to. If I take a moment and click on my sellers, I can see what my sellers are up to. And I can realize that tomorrow looks like a good day to kill fish for Paul, which will allow me a wonderful way to open my conversation with Paul asking how his fishing went. This will give you the opportunity to develop those relationships with your buyers, your sellers, your sphere, and however you want to break down your circles so that you can separate them easily in your stream and see who is saying what. By clicking on stream, you'll go back to your main stream focus. This is going to be the best way to take advantage of streams. It means go back, watch our circles video again for Google+, and set those circles up correctly so that you can figure out who you want to hear from on your stream. The next feature you'll want to look at is just below the streams on your left side of your screen, and that's your sparks. What sparks your interest? Let's set up some sparks. Click on the word sparks and you'll see some of the featured interest, other things that are going on and a lot of people want to know about. All you need to do in the box is type in stuff you're interested in. Well, I know I'm interested in buyers, which leads me to home buyers. Enter that, click on it, and add interest. And this will pin home buyers under sparks. Once again, to do that nice and easily, we go to our sparks, find things we're interested in, like real estate marketing. Select that and we can add interest. And as new articles are posted or new information comes up with these tags in them, our Spark will inform us that there's a new story worth looking at and following. And now we could follow things like real estate investing and when an article came out or an interest came up and it sparked our attention, we could then send that off to all of our people in our circles as real estate investors, sharing information with everybody and using the power of Google Plus 
to become the expert for our clients.